It is indeed, another binge compilation. Yowoo. How do you write such realistic dialogue? I talk to myself. I talk to myself and I pretend I'm the one saying the line. Like sanity is slowly slipping from between my fingers with every measly word they type out. That is how! Yeah, it was me. I made the cool ass sword. Sword is a cool ass word. <sighs> I'm only here for a very short time, so please don't waste my time. I know this is supposed to be deep, but my brain is going like, me at a party. <laughs> Leaving house, good for depression, bad for anxiety. Staying at house, good for anxiety, bad for depression. Standing directly in the doorway to achieve peak mental health. Devouring it, and by it, let's just say. Honey crush apple. I was talking about goosebumps with a friend tonight, and I found the greatest tagline for any work of horror ever. Like, I am obsessed with how quickly this gets to the point. Welcome to Dead House. It will just kill you. Every romance book promoted on TikTok is just full to the brim with horrible, steamy taglines that are just like, Eyes on me, little beast. I'm here to make you damp. Me when I have to give my dog a bath. And if AI becomes sentient, who cares? What, are you scared? You can just do this. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate. <laughs> Alright, everybody shut up! Look how cool Shadow is. I'd let him piss on my wife. What? You had to be there. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I've ever seen. Nemo Bear was here before you, and he'll be here after you're gone, my dude. Hey man, you wanna check out my new novel? It has a lot of references to recent internet lingo. Also, it's physically hurtful to read. Immersive gaming. Five nights of Freddy's. Obsessed with the implications of this. Ah, oh, the smell of Home Depot is cathartic. Fairies live in the lights and chandelier section. Gnomes live in the outdoor gardening department. Stop romanticizing Home Depot. Pixies live in the pay tile, fuck you! When I'm bored at work, I sometimes Google extinct frogs and use the tape measure to conceptualize how big those would have been on my desk and just nod to myself going, Damn, that was a big frog. Yeah, I think you should be allowed to cite scholars who are bad people, but only if you put the word oof or yikes after their name. Like Parker, ooh, yikes, 1989. Or Abink, Big Oof, 2007. Freud, derogatory, 1923. If you see me accidentally blocked to the wrong account, no you did not. God, I wish I could move diagonally. What the hell, man? All the username, oh. With the power of ADHD, you can do two halves of a different drawers and then sit down again instead of finishing either. This may be mistaken for half-assing, but you could be wrong. I am whole-assing, but I've distributed my ass across multiple tasks and didn't finish anything. But multiple chores are more done than they were before. Take it or leave it. You know, they're out of line, but they write. The G in LGBT is short for guy who... Uh, how shall I put this? Prefers the company of men. The L in LGBT is short for a lady who, um, how, how should I put this? Prefers the company of women. The B in LGBT is short for bonus 10% damage against everyone. The T stands for that's against community guidelines. There's something stupid going on inside my head. It's called the thought. God, clear skin is so attractive. I chop a toe off for clear skin forever. I swear to fucking God, writing a post on this website is like talking to a fucking genie. Better be specific as shit or some smart ass is gonna ruin your life. Oh my God, this is a passion note. Yay. Fixed bug where some geometry would allow the player to get too close and see inside the walls. If any players claim they saw enslaved gnomes inside these walls building our levels, they are lying! Fixed Tefani, talking to nobody when Floofty isn't around. In short, broken tooth time trial flare is visible if quest active. Mothsa Supreme tornadoes no longer turn black when Mothsa Supreme is sauced. Okay. Improved Lalive and Takeda Masala getting stuck carrying objects. What are these names? 
Oh god, it's Triffany, not Tiffany. Oh my god, what is happening? Resolved a hypersonic automatic blink teleport attacks issue that never happened in a live build, but it's kind of fun to talk about. And honestly, l less hype than I'm making it out to sound anyway. I'm sorry. Fixed misspelling of omelets. It is now spelled Fancy Egg Taco. Thanks, I hate it. Made adjustments to the about page credits to showcase all of the wonderful people that have contributed to Slime Rancher, even though it still means leaving out people that didn't work on it directly but made it all possible. Oh, Elizabeth, I love you so much. Your smile for me is a little scary now. But there was a beta glitch where Kamal could delete any item you gave him, resulting in the truly upsetting Kamal ate my hand bug report. Damn it, Kamal. Fix that oppressors could spawn in tutorial. <laughs> Rip green beards. Fixed an issue. We, we, we fixed an issue. Thank you, Melty Blood Type Lumina. Very cool. Fixed Medusa's head being able to duplicate buyers. What? I don't remember that in the Greek mythos. Where was that? Is that was that the one with John Travolta in it? Okay, it's Greek. Digital's dis. Digital's. <laughs> Digital displays on the ranch now have a really cool LED screen effect. What secret hidden in the pixels? What are you talking about? There's definitely not a ghost. Hello, miners. Sorry, it works now. Our bad. Hello. With love, the ghost ship crew. Fix that the game crashed most of the time you tried to join a game. <laughs> game crash is trying to, like, fucking start up a game. You can no longer die from sadness. <gasps> What's fucking go? Human, about this game you've been playing, the, the, the one with the ink. Oh, the Splatoon? What, did you want to play it? Well, I noticed some images and I must ask, how did you kind of know about the Cambriosians? The, the, the what? Cambriosians. They're a species who thrive on a planet much like Earth. However, instead of evolving more mammalian, they adopt traits much like the creatures in your game. In fact, the lore behind them seems to line up with how they developed, albeit without the consequences of a prior sapient race behind it, among a few things. Oh, that thought. So inklings and octolings exist? In a way. In fact, your player avatar resembles what they may be considered the equivalent of a janitor on Earth. Well, I thought the armor looked cool. Quick question, human. Sup? Those cartoons you showed me from those Disney guys. Are you going to tell me that Mickey Mouse is an alien species? Yes, but that's not the point. Anyway, what exactly is the difference between Goofy and Pluto? <sighs> oh, boy. Human, what can you tell me about storm chasers? Oh, simple. Storm chasers are people who chase down dangerous storms like tornadoes and hurricanes, either for research purposes or for thrill-seeking. Why do you ask? Mainly because of this new movie that is coming out soon called Twisters. I heard it was a sequel to a movie called Twister that was released about 30 years ago. Oh uh, yeah, I almost forgot about that movie. Highly recommend watching the first film before watching that. Wanna watch it with me now? Sure thing. After the movie, Hard to believe that all it took for Bill and Joe to get back together was a near-death experience to several tornadoes over the course of two days. <laughs> I didn't think Joe was about to sign the divorce papers right as the monster hit the drive-in that they stopped at. Human, about this Star Wars franchise? Uh, let me guess, they're all real. No, actually. I was going to point out that a lot of the alien species designs are just not really all that realistic. Wait, what, what, really? Yeah, it's actually a pretty unscientific portrayal of what extraterrestrial life looks like. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, finally some normality. Except the Gungans, those guys are real. Why? Out of all the millions of Star Wars alien species, did the Gungans have to be real? I should probably tell them they don't sound like that, though. Should I? Nah, let them suffer. What are you doing? Watching to your eternity. What is the show about? How a tiny orb slowly becomes human and immortality is literally the worst thing that is given to people. Huh? Watch it, you'll understand soon. Hours later. <laughs> what is everyone trying the show? To make everyone stop wishing for immortality. And to make everyone catch the feels. 
I need to call Lady Lucretia. She must be devastated. Why do you watch the kids show? Is it like the flying men show with the punchy kicky men? Uh, no, no, this is not like Dragon Ball Blue. He's different. Why do they sound incomprehensible? Oh, well, that's down under. Otherwise known as Australian. Why did I choose you, human? Because I was the only candidate who didn't try and romance you. But you have. And I uh, do it again. Human, I have a question. Shoot. I've noticed your planet has a distinct lack of currently existing large animals. Oh, right. Wait, the only place that still has an abundance of large animals is Africa. Hold on, didn't your species originate there? So, yeah, this might seem a bit shocking, but we kind of killed most of the megafauna outside Africa. I'm sorry, what? And we may have significantly caused our sixth largest mass extinction in our planet's history. You're kidding, right? We were hungry. I feel like I should report you to your local authority. Human, I've heard talk about these Tumblr sexy men, and I was wondering what that meant. There's been many polls about them throughout the years as well. <coughs> <coughs> well, well, you see, people find certain fictional characters very attractive, but others are very confused by that, so every year or so, people, <laughs> people hold polls to find out which is the hottest. It's a mess all around. That sounds strange. Can you tell me a few choices featured in the polls? <laughs> sure. A few minutes later, rumor. My lord, why are they all attracted to a robot ball in a snazzy triangle? I was wondering the same thing. I, I, I don't understand. You have a, a person who causes deforestation. You have a, a talking cat. A man with a dice on his head. Well, this Waluigi one I can understand, but... Good God, is that just a skeleton? You're not immune to being the bully, by the way. You're not immune to being in the wrong. But I'm... There is no identity or state of being that makes you immune to hurting someone. You can be convinced that you are in the right for doing so. You can be convinced that you're defending someone by doing so. You've always got to examine if you're taking pleasure in hurting someone or if you're actually doing something good. So stop being a frickin' dingus. Their gender? Questionable. Their morals? Even more so. Alright, chat, name the character. Shipping and blubberfication are not inherently at odds with understanding a story's deep themes. And some people can't grasp the themes of a story because they never learned how to engage with stories outside of the lens of shipping and blubberfication are two statements that can coexist. As crazy as it is to say, Sometimes you do roll into a super deep complex story that is usually meant for a critical thinking audience at the age of 12. You know, a picture can say a thousand words, and here, <laughs> they're all slurs. No, please, my 52 HP. My level one paladin after the pixies who turned her into an octopus made her human again. Put him back. Behold, the distribution of Waffle Houses in the US. You mean to tell me the West Coast ain't got a Waffle House? We don't. We got, like, Denny's, which is only, like, a fraction as surreal as I've been led to believe Waffle House is. Being kissed in your sleep and being pulled closer within cuddles is such a top-tier form of affection. Oh my god, I have a mighty need. I spent countless hours turning aluminum welding wire into a chainmail blanket. Why? Well, I like having weight on me when I sleep, and I like to be cool. The heat dissipating properties and weight of aluminum are perfect for this. Press. Bro, 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 bro's getting a good night's sleep. Okay, show of the 18th September and I'm petrified. Stop. You're 17 and four fifths right now. You're not aging up a full year. You're just going to be a few months older than you are right now. Time moves on. The numbers keep going up. The numbers fucking meaningless. Can your mainly ship post box stop changing my world for you, please? No. An important announcement. I've discovered that Rose Finches exist. It physically pains me that I cannot be her. I've been on Tumblr for almost 13 years, and I refuse to know what Homestuck is about. Oh, it's very simple. It's, it's about a little dude that's got, like, no arms, and he runs really fast. He's got, like, his best friend who is, like, a wrestling dude that hates him, you know. That's, that's Homestuck, right? 
Yes. Hi, we are Job Website. We have plenty of diverse jobs for you. So, do you want to do manual labor or get yelled at on the phone? Those are the two options. Isn't our economy so ripe with opportunity? Do you ever lie awake wondering how the heck Gimli knows what a nervous system is? Well, clearly dwarves have medical knowledge far more advanced than that of the other races. His Majesty, Dr. Gimli, son of Glone, neurosurgeon, MD. Gimli trying to explain his studies to Legolas, a flat earther. Scroll down. Remember that Middle Earth is canonically flat for elves and round for everyone else? Scroll back up and smash that reblock button! So the Kevin campaign is coming to a close soon, and I don't know if we're gonna reach it, but regardless, I'll still be donating whatever earnings I would have made from that uh, to St. Jude's. So if you feel like you just want to add more to the pile, feel free. However, a time break has opened, and she has returned. Oh my god, it's the Siana 2.0 plushie back at it again. These two campaigns kind of overlapped in their launch dates because it's just the way the event went. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, Makeship is doing a revival campaign of the popular plushies that were on their website. And look who made the list! Look at her! And you might be wondering, well, what makes her different from the original editions? Well, I'll tell you that, little Tim Tim. She's got a second edition symbol right on her tuchus. Oh no, that means I'm gonna have to draw it if we hit the 200 mark. Oh god, the consequences of my own actions. Or worse, twin Sianas. Also, holographic stickers are included. I kind of forgot that part originally. But yeah, this is really cool because anyone who missed out on the campaign last time, you got a chance to do it again. And if you like her and you want to squish her, and you'll put her in a box or on a shelf. Or maybe even on the moon if you got one of those. You can click on the little icon at the end of the video. Or if you want to go get it right now, you can go get it in the link in the pinned comment. Anyway, I'm done advertising. It's, it, this this was a long one. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make the Tumblr bits extra long this one. Okay. Fan fiction writers be like, notes. Had a breakdown. Started writing it. Bon appetit. When I get into indie game development, release date, original intended release date, lack of news, subsequent intended release dates, accusations of vaporware, 10 year anniversary of the original release date, rumored death of the programmers, second trailer and new release date, <laughs> aftermath of the Miz new release date, <laughs> controversy over the nipples. I have no idea what this game is and I'm afraid to find out. Click here for tinnitus symptoms. Oh, no, no, thank you, anthropomorphic cat in a spiky jacket. I don't really want those. Also, why did he make you sound like the Khajiit from uh, Oblivion? Why? <laughs> this next one, they gave me pronunciation instructions. No. Oh, do I be a dingus and ignore this? Fuck it, we ball. People who haven't seen Common Rider. Explain these images. That's clearly the expression the person who submitted this is having right now after me ignoring the rules. <laughs> My name's Practice. Malpractice. Nice to meet you, Dr. Practice. Could you please tell me what's wrong with my son? He needs surgery on all of his bones. Very well, here is my credit card. I accept. No payment. I do this because I love it. Obsessed with Torchex, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Pokedex entry. Inside its body is a place where it keeps a small flame. Hug it. It will be as warm as a hot water bottle. This lives in my head rent free. And that's why Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best ones. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Witness a man who just knocked a pill bottle to the floor in a fit of peak. <laughs> he looks so angry. <laughs> my boyfriend doesn't believe that his cat bullies mine. I've been attacked! I saw this little man at Epcot today. Oh my god, look. Look at those. Look at those prominent little springers. Those little tufts. Oh my goodness, that's a certified boom! When October hits, don't ask me if I want to do spooky stuff with you. Just just come get me! Yeah, imagine if he just showed up on Monday like this. Yo, is this that monster fucker from Baldur's Gate 3? Hello, can you please tell me a fact about Mars Wikipedia the official? It's red. It's, it's real red. 
Bat Bat coming up with game theory is like, Would he fucking say that? Let's investigate. Update, I investigated a little too hard. This one shot is now 1.3k words long. I'm, uh, my bad. I'm the world's most prominent garlic lover. You know, I'm learning new things about myself every day on this beautiful earth. Virgin Airlines. <laughs> Not after I'm done with them. Uh, rock block. I'd be worried if it was a correct Skyrim quote. Modders. You have a job. To celebrate Pride Month, I'll be intentionally misinterpreting heterosexual relationships in fiction as platonic friendships. Look at these two besties. Such a power move. Chapter 15. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Summary. Read the title. They need to make a pocket dimension you can hide in where time doesn't pass and everything is soft. I need it, right? No! <clears throat> I think a wizard can be a princess sometimes. I mean, a tower is a tower. By God, they're right. No, no, Princess Zelda does not have girl power. Princess Zelda has girl wisdom. Ganon has girl power. Me, it's not illegal. Cop staring at my trunk filled with creamy peanut butter. It's just so much. But it's not illegal. No. No, it's not. You know, unless you stole it. How, why, how, how would you get that much peanut butter in the first place? Guys, you ever hear a drum beat that changes your life? I can't tell if this is a music post or a Doctor Who joke. <sighs> you know, let, let's cater the first one. I'll give you guys mine. Did you ever listen to It's Going Down Now in the Persona 3 soundtrack? If you haven't, it, l l l let me give you just a little five-second example. Fire shit. Outfits that could 100% protect vampires from the sun. Suit of armor. Mascot costumes. Green screen suits. Fursuit. Just putting that out there. Ooh ooh. Behold the grinning goop. Look at that award winning smile right there. New rule. Never trust how you feel about yourself past 9 p.m. I genuinely think this image has saved lives. Man, the rule used to be before 2 a.m., but this this might actually be much more helpful. Not to be corny, but sometimes I think my purpose on this earth is to love people, make them laugh, be kind, and share joy. That feels like enough to me sometimes. I need to maim and kill, but your thing sounds nice, too. Lyos Heaven is Marseille Hell, and it's a very efficient system. Marseille is in a survival horror story. Chilchuck is in the office. Senshi's in Sturdy Valley, and Lyos is in... <laughs> well, he's in Dungeon Meshi. What's Fallon in? The dragon. Speaking of Dungeon Meshi, did you guys know I was in Grimjack's video about it as Lyos? This rule of glory, you should watch it. They want you to make fried rice. H who's they? The walk left. Well, where'd it go? What you need to understand about recommending a show to me is that no matter how much we both know I'll like it, I can't watch it until the neurodivergence department in my brain approves it. I don't know when that will be, and I don't have any more control over it than you do. I'm sorry. Pie chart, you want to give me toilet? Hey, man. Do you take out the garbage like Mom asked? Do you take out the garbage like Mom asked you, like an hour ago? The bag's already tied up. You literally just need to grab it and walk 15 feet. That's it. Yeah, go take out the trash, come back, and watch some quality shit posting. Like Flex Air 5. Bread baguette with kale butter. I think you might need to be put down like a dog. Slash romantic. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your twink is? Hey, get down from there, you fucker! Are you tough a boy like you, pocket show? You just gotta ask him, man. Boys are stupid as shit, I'm not even kidding. Aren't you one, though? I'm giving you the inside scoop. Your mama's so crumb that strong ants took her away forever. Just here to say I started using this joke on middle schoolers and it completely disarms them in every situation. Thanks so much. Poor old Granny Scorpion shoes. No one ever saw her death coming. It was pneumonia. Yes, her pet Scorpion pneumonia who lived in her shoe. Tragic. You shot her point blank. <laughs> 
The gods chose him. The gods champion. No, that's God's little wind-up toy. The gods chew toy. The gods favorite Barbie doll. Dude, my pet aunt just called. He's in the hospital. Yeah, he broke his fucking arm, man. He was just trying to lift some kid's mom. Oh! I'm so sleepy. Won't you use exclamation tuck to tuck me into bed? Exclamation cursed oak. Did everyone else have like terrible dreams about a gnarled, twisted forest with one tree more terrible and hateful than all the rest? No? Well, okay. Meanwhile, in the dimension where birds explode when startled, a man practicing for the how long can you go without moving while being covered in bird seed contest at a local park is currently fearing for his life. <laughs> oh, you're getting so sleepy, so tired. Here's some blankets and a little Sierra plush that you can get right now at Mixer.com. Take a little delightful nap for me, okay? Oh my gosh, a blanket is a safe place to sleep on. <laughs> Fool! 2x damage bonus! Ah.